Welcome to our lecture online. Whenever we have roots that are other than square roots, cube roots, fourth roots, fifth roots, and so forth, in the denominator we still want to rationalize them, but the technique is a little bit different. The objective is that the power should be a multiple of the root. So instead of x to the fifth, we want x to the sixth there because six is a multiple of three. Here we want a four because four, that matches the root. Here we want an 8 because 8 is a multiple of 4, and here we want 15 because 15 is a multiple of 3. So we're looking for the next multiple of the root. So in this case, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the cube root of x to the first power. We don't have to write to the first power, we do it anyway to make it clear. x to the first power is because now when we multiply, we'll get x to the sixth, and of course x to the sixth is a multiple of the cube root. So this becomes equal to 7 times the cube root of x divided by the cube root of x to the fifth times x to the first, which is x to the sixth, and 3 goes into 6 twice, so this becomes 7 times the cube root of x divided by x squared, because the cube root of x to the sixth, we simply take the power and divide it by the root, and that becomes the new exponent. So here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by the fourth root of x to the first power, the fourth root of x to the first power, because when we multiply these together, that gives us x to the fourth, which is exactly equal to the root. So this is equal to 2x times the fourth root of x divided by the fourth root of x cubed times x, which is x to the fourth. And of course, we divide four by four, and we get x to the first power in the denominator. So this is equal to two x times the fourth root of x divided by x. And of course, the x cancels out. So this becomes two times the fourth root of x. Okay, here we do the same thing. We want this to be a multiple of four. So we multiply both the top and the bottom by the fourth root of x to the first power, fourth root of x to the first power. So in the numerator, we get 5x squared times the fourth root of x. And in the denominator, we get the fourth root of x to the seventh times x to the first, which is x to the eighth. Now, remember that we take the power and divide by the root. So this can be written as 5x squared times the fourth root of x divided by x to the 8 divided by 4 would be x squared. So we divide the power by the root. And now the x squares cancel out, so this is 5 times the fourth root of x as the solution or the simplified form. Here we do the same thing. We're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by the fifth root of x to the first power, the fifth root of x to the first power, because now when I multiply the denominator, I will get x to the 15th inside the radical. So this becomes 12x squared times the fifth root of x divided by the fifth root of x to the 14th times x to the first, which is x to the 15th, and 15 divided by 5 will be 3. So in the denominator, we get the following. We have 12x squared times the fifth root of x in the numerator, divided by x cubed in the denominator, because 15 divided by 5 is 3. Now we can simplify here, so this becomes equal to 12 times the fifth root of x, and of course, x squared divided by x cubed, we get x to the first power in the denominator, and this is the final simplified form. So it's all about, when we have roots that are other than square roots, we want to get a, the multiple of the roots as a power in the radical in the denominator. And that is how that's done.